Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today I'm going to discuss Tesla. But first, please subscribe, ring that bell for future updates, and if you like this video, hit that like button. But for right now, we're going to talk a little bit about Tesla and about their production and about how things are rolling. I mean, with the coronavirus, they still were able to put out the cars. And so Tesla's second quarter 2020 vehicle production and deliveries the second quarter, we produced over 82,000 vehicles and delivered approximately 90,650. And that's and that even and that's even during the Fremont closing, which was closed down for about seven weeks. And that plant alone produces 8,000 cars a week. So if you times seven times eight, you come up with 56. Now, that's 56,000 more cars that they could have sold. And the demand, every car that is built, it's already sold. So the demand is up there. And the best salespeople, best salesmen they have and ladies is the owner of a Tesla. So, yeah, I'm really impressed with the production numbers. I'm really, I think they blew it out of the park. And if it wasn't for the coronavirus and the shutting down of the Fremont factory, we could have had 56 more thousand Teslas on the street. So actually, you could tell the production from 2012 all the way to 2020. They, this is 2020 alone right here, and we actually made produced more cars than they did in the first quarter of 2020, even with the pandemic and the closing of the Fremont factory. China is back to full-blown um, outlet now. They're pushing them out, so I think they're going to hit their demand, and their demand, I think, is going to be about 500,000 over the year or more so let's go ahead and check it out we're going to go ahead and look at the chart and see if there's anything else i want to discuss let's look at the news see if any po anything popped up in the news here lately it's tesla world of everyone else paying rent tesla deliveries could top 500,000 in 2020 that's good news for me Another thing is that LG Chemicals to produce Tesla batteries in South Korea this year as demand grows. You know, uh, Elon was and Nicole, Nicola's are getting into a little back and forth, little, and I'm in in co n i k o t l a, and I'm, I think I'm going to do well in it. NKLA is the stock ticker. I also follow it with Tesla, and I got into it Friday, so I hope for a little bounce on it come Monday morning, and I'll get out of the trade. I scalped Tesla Friday for a quick six seconds and made $211. It was probably my fastest trade ever, and I just got in and got right back out. It was really cool when I seen that thing jump up. I hit the bottom, and I'll show you the chart that I called support in, and it bounced right up. So if there's anything else in here in the news. NASDAQ hit records highs as Tesla delivers. Keep soaring. It keeps soaring and had a stir step pattern last week. Gained over 300 points. Elon mocks the SEC on Twitter. You know, I wish he'd stop doing that. But he's, he's a rebel. Tesla stock ends up with new record tops 1200 bucks. So we got our 1200 I don't know, I kind of called a pullback to the first support on Friday, and let's look at the chart. See what we did after hours, we kind of pulled back a little bit. We had that pre-market high of 1032-1232, and it pulled back. Now, I called this little, did this little support where this ends right here was where I spotted the support level. And I'll pull it up on the daily one minute. Show you exactly what I was looking at. Let's go to the five, five minute. There was a little place where we consolidated and we had a high right here. And that was like a double top area. And then, so I seen that consolidation period right in here too. And I decided to go ahead and draw me a little trend line in this area. From the top of that one little candle right here. So I kind of drew me a little trend line where I thought it was kind of maybe pulled back to. 
And then what happened is it did pull back to that area. And I'm going to post that right in here. I'm all about learning about chart patterns and finding supports and resistances. We had that little pullback here, and I had this little high right here, so I've kind of figured that's where I wanted to put my, my support channel between 1185.14 and 1194.52. As you can see, we did have that nice little breakout. It pulled back a little bit, had a double lower double top, which kind of told me that it was going to sell off. And you can see the divergency as it did start to sell off. And it fell back and hit this little support area that I had on this 1194.52. Bounced up and hit that 200 and then finally pulled back and hit that bottom part of that channel. And that's where I got into the trade was right about in here. Right about 1186.41 and then popped it up to this resistance level and got right, right out. I mean it was bam and I was in and out of that trade. I think it was right about in, when it pulled back, I was right about in here. And then the next, within a, probably the next minute, bam, I was right out of it. So it might have been longer than six seconds. But we continued on high the rest of the day. We never did break that trend, and it went ahead and went on up here. So I want to show you the five-day or the 10-day pattern, or 20-day pattern on this. You can see we stair-stepped. We had them three huge white soldiers right here and then she kind of consolidated with lower highs setting up for another breakout pulled back pre-market to that support level and then hit the next high just out of the gate just had a big old candle busted on up hit a resistance level and pulled back to that support so i was calling these lower supports i was thinking on this breakout that we would pull back to support but it didn't it went ahead and continued on up kept above that support line of 11 11 69 and then had that huge breakout after hours and then held momentum pulled back a little bit then bam you know we had that new high up here and i'm going to draw that trend line right there at 12 .85. and then we had another one right in here right around the 1208 so i called that pullback it was beautiful and then i wish i'd have kind of held that in fact if i'd have held my option previous I'd have made $4,000 a contract on that one option, that previous one that I had uh, Wednesday. So, yeah, I think it's going to pull back. It need to hold this support of 1185.14. If we don't hold that, we could pull back to this lower support of 1162 to 11.45. But we have had a nice little stair step pattern. And then we kind of had a little pull back there, and we've seen that repeat right here. So maybe the next one could be a little bit steeper. I got a low support right here at 1131.77 to hold. But I think we're going to stop. If it does break this channel right here, these are going to be my next three support levels. And that first one's going to be 1161.49, 1145.38, and then 1131.38. Now, I've called, I'm going to have to call a new low, low support on this trade. It was at a grand. So I think my new low support is going to be right down here on the $1,100 mark. That's where I think it needs to hold. If not, we're going to go down farther. But I think we can break that resistance of 1232. So that lower support is going to be right down in here between 1104 and 1111.69. That needs to hold. Then you have your three different support levels, number one, two, and three. And then you have the resistance to break of 1222.85. Now they had a $1,200 target on this, so this is your imaginary uh, resistance level. And I think the way I'm going to play it from here on out, out on out is I'm going to play the pullback and then try to catch the move on the way up during the day and scalp it each day. And that's going to be TSLA. What a great trade it was today, that's for sure. Now also I want to bring attention to, uh, to our website. Please hit this Twitter bird link over here on the side. That'll hit that follow button. Miss Vegas is posting alerts in here on a daily basis. 
We called, took the $1,100 calls. I took the 1220 and did real well on it. Genius. Oh, yeah, we've got alerts in here all the time that we're posting in and out. So, wish everybody a great day. Always remember, I love stocks. Tesla. Thank you.